This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the introductions. Ladies and Here's gentlemen, Bruce Buffer. this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, the Warrior. And now we're producing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, my fight. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Hogan's ready inside leg kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick. Oh, cash money with that left hand counter. Oh, 
oh man, hit to Glenn. Nice leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. It's under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice kick landed there by Luke. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, a huge block there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Body kick is blocked. Leg kick. All right, 60 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Boy, top drop. Point set for the end of round one. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though you can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, wow! Head kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big body to land. Checks the leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Let's go. Look for that takedown. Oh, huge block. Gets caught with that punch. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, 
Oh, slips to avoid the right. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Nice punch by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands to hurt. All right, round three coming up next. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. He blocks the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it tough. Straight punch land. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Beautiful punch. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Beautiful body kick. Got clip with the right hand. You got him with his hip into that kick. Oh, once again, kick to the body is there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. You need to take that off. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Single collar tie there. Big head kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Nice workout. You're really pushing hard. I can see you're working, but you're 
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? Yes, that both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of these Washington. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Kick lands. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Oh, nice counter jab there. Under two minutes now to go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Head kick. The next with a right. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Nice one, two there. Whoa! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to get too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Obvious redness on the right side of his body.
Three minutes now to go to decide this one. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down. Nice straight punch. He has oh. a Back to the feet. Well, that left hand has been there at times. Not on that attack. Oh! Go finish this fight. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Able to check the high kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Big kick lands. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. Lee's kick is blocked. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, what a punch. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control.